actually really late right now. We supposed to be there at five and it's currently like five something and we live like a little minute away. So I just want to show y'all what I have on to go to the hospital. prepare for this day and then it gets here and you're like I don't know I don't know but anyway so yeah this is a fit I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get in the car and kind of like let y'all know everything because y'all probably like girl what's going on like you just getting on and talking so yeah I'm gonna update y'all when I get in the car so my eyes are a little puffy because we woke up late and I just did my skincare again real fast. But anyways, we're so excited. <laughs> we're so happy, y'all. We called the hospital, let them know we're going to be late and that, you know, like how far we are and stuff like that. I'm so excited, y'all. You can start driving, by the way. All right. Um, I'm finally, this moment that I've been waiting for is finally here. I usually don't like to get induced. But this time, God just had it all laid out and perfectly planned for me. Like, get induced was, like, the best option for me because, honestly, my kids had to go to Tyler and I had to meet they mo my mama. And, oh, I said they mama. mama. <laughs> she is the mama. The grandma's the baby. So, yeah. Um, I had to meet my mama in Turl to switch off and drop the kids off. So, we had to do that. And that was, like, really, really far from my house. So... It was just a big worry at first because I was worrying about like um okay. I was worried about like them getting to where they needed to be. But oh y'all this time is here and it's yes, this is my fifth baby if you don't know. You know, this is my fifth baby. Our fifth baby. Five. Um we're so excited and having light contractions, nothing major at all. Um, I know it's going to kick in once they get me settled and get everything going. I know the pain is going to kick in, but I'm not worried because like I said, I already prayed and when I get there, I'm going to set the atmosphere, the atmosphere, <laughs> I'm going to set the space and the tone for my room. Um, I'm just going to make sure that when you come in, you feel the presence of God. Okay, baby, the attitudes, anything that anybody is dealing with at home going on when you step into that room baby those issues will be forgotten okay you will feel his presence in the room and i can't wait to just fill the room i do this every birth i never go into my labors without playing my worship music and without praying and just setting my atmosphere and it always goes well for me so i'm really excited about that part too because i just love how god carries me through labor he's really honestly the only way i get through labor is to pray and be in worship that's just the way i do it um once i get that part situated and everything is going i just know it's just gonna go so smooth so i'm debating if i want to text my brothers and like my really close friends and stuff like that um that i'm going to the hospital right now and like keep them updated or do I just want to tell them when the baby is here? I'm debating cause I don't know. I don't know how long the process is gonna be. And on top of that, I'm just like, I don't really just know, you know, I don't know. And I really don't want a lot of people just blowing up the phone. I've been having a lot of text messages and stuff, which I appreciate. A lot of people praying for me and stuff like that. I appreciate and just checking in. But sometimes it's a little overwhelming when you get so many text messages and you feel obligated to text back and just do all that i'm already trying to vlog which is a lot so it's like i just want to be in the moment and not really deal with so much people and just just too much so yeah i'm excited and when we get back home it's going to be crazy because we're going to have five kids and i just don't know how that's going to be um i miss my kids speaking of kids i miss them I feel like they're going to be so excited to see her. I'm worried about Kaylee a little bit because she is the baby and we all spoil her and she's like top dog in our house. 
Um, so I ain't worried about her. It's not gonna change. I do pretty good with keeping the babies the babies. Um, so it's not gonna change, but it's just gonna be a little different. She is gonna be a little bit older. She is about to be two anyway, so you know it's okay. But I'm just I don't know, I'm just not so I think that's pretty much it for everything. Um like I said in the first clip, I am 40 weeks in a day today. My due date was yesterday. I went past my due date, as you can see. Very much still big pregnant. Um, she just was, she just chilling in there. She's been moving actively and doing everything she normally do. Taking her naps when she takes her naps because uh, she'll get real still and I know she sleep. And then she'll be moving again, so I know she's up. She's been doing everything that she normally does. Nothing is different, so um, she just literally was like, me and God already talked about this, baby girl. You just sit back and relax, mom, because I'm going to come when I want to come. And this is obviously it. Last time I was supposed to be induced with Kaylee, I actually was going, I went into labor on my own. I was already like, at like, what, nine centimeters when I got there? And I had been having contractions and everything. So that was crazy. And I was like, uh-uh, I'm going to need the meds. We don't need to play no games. I'm gonna need the meds. And I actually did the same thing with CJ. I wasn't supposed to get induced, but I just went into labor. And when I got there, I was like uh, eight or nine centimeters as well. So yeah, I'll be going into the centimeters real quick, real quick. So I don't want that to happen today. I kind of wanted to just let me get that girl and make sure I get that F, okay? Make sure I get that F. I ain't trying to do it, okay? I'm not. I'm not for the bull. So come into my life. Once you wrap me up inside your life. I know everything's gonna be alright. Let's believe this here gon' last for life. Hey, yeah. Holy Spirit, come into my life. Won't you wrap me up inside your life? Whoa. Okay guys, so we're here. The birds are loud. Um, if you know, you know I don't fool with birds. Y'all, I think I left. Mm. I don't know what's all that mumbling and cackling for. Mumbling and crackling. Anyways, um, I don't know. Boy, <laughs> manish. That's how we got here in the first place. But anyways, so we're here at the hospital. I'm about to go in. <laughs> I'm so nervous, but I will say that 1K and Hope they had me get the whole ride over here. So I feel a little bit prepared. I'm just nervous. But yeah, as y'all can see now, it's getting bright outside. It's like six something. He got my bags. It's not all my stuff. Y'all ready to have but... a baby? Y'all ready to have a baby? Let's uh, get it. <laughs> People that's never about to bust their A open are always the most excited anyways y'all but i'm gonna catch y'all when i get in because we gotta walk in and yeah y'all see the drip Just got done doing this, setting up, getting everything ready. I'm hungry. What the food is? <laughs> <laughs> he always hungry. Anyways, so yeah. Finally, she did this so smooth. I love everybody so far. Everybody's so nice. We've been um just taking my blood pressure. But anyways, we've been um trying to get the baby on the heart monitor. She's been tripping. The huge. She always do this. So, yeah, I don't really have anything to say. Besides the fact that I'm about to make him lotion my legs because I took a shower before I got here. So I'm about to make him lotion my legs and then, yeah, I got to leave a sample, but I don't have to pee yet. And I got some water. Let me show you. 
So I got some water and stuff so I can do that. But yeah, you gonna lotion me? Yeah. You gotta pull this back. Yeah. Get y'all, get y'all a personal, you know, lotion person. <laughs> a husband, get y'all a husband. Get y'all a husband, make it real. I'm officially hooked up to the IVs and I was trying to go before I got hooked up. Um, she checked my cervix. I am at a four. She said she could push me to a five. Um, I don't know. She's sweet. I love everybody so far. I have like some good nurses and doctors. So um, once this bag run out, I'm gonna get the epidural, and I guess they're gonna start the pitocin and everything all together. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the update. I'm on clears, so water and ice chips is what I'll be having. Um, yeah, the baby keeps moving around, doing crazy stuff. I'm having contractions, but I don't feel anything. And everybody thinks that's so funny that I don't feel nothing. So I'm just praying that God keeps it that way. I'm about to actually take out my iPad and, you know, get some... Uh, some music or something going i'm probably not gonna really play music right now because like the contractions are not really bad right now um i'll probably just like watch a little tv because it's still kind of early and then as i start really really laboring and stuff i'll go ahead and play my music or i'll probably play it now i don't really know what i want to do honestly i'm just i'm just here but it is current is I don't know if y'all can see that, but it is 7.22. Um, yeah, I don't know how fast it's going to go. Everybody's like wondering how fast it's going to go since all my other labors went really, really fast. I can literally come in and have a baby. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know how fast it's going to go, but I'm praying it goes fast. Pitocin makes everything move faster, they say. So, um, Y'all hear her? She's moving around. She's literally moving around. She don't want to sit still. She's making it hard for everybody to find her um, heartbeat. So she's already tripping. I really want to put my hair up, but I don't want to move too much right now and make it hard to monitor everything. So I'm just letting my hair sit like this, I guess, until... I can just get real comfortable um, to put it up. They said I'm good, I can do it, but I don't want to be difficult. So, um, and I don't want them to have to keep running in here to like do everything and like keep having to like check the baby and move around when she already been difficult. So I'ma just let my hair flow the way it is right now. But yeah, so. That's the update right now. It is currently 7.24. Um, I feel fine. I'm having big contractions. They told me that they're like, what, two to three minutes apart? Yeah. Yeah, they're like two to three minutes apart, and I don't feel nothing. Like, obviously, I feel something. Like, I feel like contractions, but they're not like, ah, like crazy or anything. And then some of them I can't really feel. They was like, did you feel that? And I was like, no. <laughs> they was like, what? That was a big one, so yeah. Um, yeah, that's where we at with it. Um, I thank God that my prayers have been answered because so far, so good. The room is good. Um, it's clean for the most part. And the staff is good. Um, everything is good. Everything, everything is good. It's like... Yeah, it's like a real moment right now. I remember and I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> and, I, and I forgot. And I forgot. He's over there going, oh. I literally forgot. I'm waiting on the kids to wake up because I'm really ready to call them so that they can see. Like, mom is about to have this baby. So, I'm ready for them to wake up. I know who's woke right now. Yo, I do too. I know Bubba. he's woke. Mm -hmm. Bubba, he's woke. He wakes up every day early before everybody. So I know he's woke right now. If he had a phone, I would call him. Because he, he would be talking to me. He would be. 
Yeah, he would be woke. He he comes in, he wakes me up every day at like seven something. And he asks for the TV remote. <laughs> and he tells me like I gotta go to the bathroom or something. But yeah, I really want to show y'all the room. Let me see if I can show y'all from here. That's where the baby will go. There's the monitor. And then this is my IV and stuff. And then that's Trey's little area. And then this is all my stuff right here. That's my bag full of all my little goodies and whatnot. And then my purse got some old stuff. And then my water and then my sanitizer. And then me in the bed. And then there's like a little area with the TV and stuff over there, but it's like nothing special. Um, so yeah, that's what the room looks like. The room looks good, and it's not that big. It's pretty small, which to me is good because when it's smaller, it means it's cleaner. To catch yeah. my drift. The bigger, the <laughs> yeah, the bigger, the dirtier. It means they're gonna skip over parts. Yeah. So this room being like a good size, it's not too big, it's not too small, it's perfectly sized. It, it just makes it better for me. But yeah, that's that. Right there. I think it gotta be what, half full? This one, though? This bag. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be halfway, I mean, halfway gone. And then. For your, uh, that bag is for your hydration. Yeah, yeah. It's gotta be halfway gone for the um, epidural. Y'all, do I got the? Ooh, I got the little lip gloss thing. Let me reapply some lip gloss, cause girl, we're not going out like that. We're not going out. Oh, that's the only thing I hate about wearing lip gloss. But I'm gonna fix that. So yeah. Period. Okay, and I'm back. So I got the epidural. Um. Let me turn this way. Yeah. Y'all, I'm looking crazy. My bone is crazy. But I got the epidural. And that was a different experience for me. It was painful and crazy. Um, but Trey got to stay in the room for the first time. That was the first time he ever stayed in. Um, and he did really good. And he supported me really good. And my um, nurse... And my anesthesiologist, they were amazing, perfect. Um, they talked me through it. They were perfect. Um, he was having a little trouble because of the bone. But other than that, it was perfect. It was literally so perfect. They talked me through it, and I was struggling really bad. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we did that. We did that. So I'm feeling good. Um, right now, I'm just laying here. We're trying to lay me, like flat so that I can um the epidural stuff can level out and then I'll basically be um getting my Pitocin and getting a catheter and I think I'm saying that right I'm gonna get the you know catch that pee so yeah that's where we at with it I got my iPad and stuff up I'm gonna watch me um some I got a movie on Tubi or whatever it's on, I don't know. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna watch that for a little bit while we do this and then yeah, I'm at a five now. So hopefully the Pitocin, you know, get everything going and we dilate faster so she can get out. But everything's looking good, blood pressure is good, baby is good, the epidural was good. Trey went and got him something to snack on from the vending machine but yeah i'm so proud of my baby he did really good that's him right there walking in. <laughs> imagine walking in on somebody else <laughs> that would be crazy where you snack anyways but he did so good I thought he was like not gonna do so good because That's all about me. he never seen that. Yeah. <laughs> look at him. Man, hey, look, I'm a pro at this. I'm a pro at having babies. I'm a well, I'm a pro at making babies. I'm a pro at being here, getting ready to have a baby. <laughs> so I think I'm so caught. I might be able to push. I mean, well, not push one, but I might be able to catch one. You know what I'm saying? The little one. The way they act, they probably will let you. Sure. So yeah. Um, I might deliver it today. I'm gonna tell you, watch out, man. I would never. Anyway, so yeah, my bun looking real rough. So far, pain levels 
has been great. I've been handling it. The only thing I would say really kind of almost took me out was the epidural. Um, it was just, I was struggling. It was painful. But other than that, I would say I did really good. But I, like, I, like I said before, I loved my anesthesia. anesthesia. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I loved him. He was so cool. He talked through the whole time. And he told us stories. And he was telling us about his wife. And stuff like that. He was just perfect. Honestly, I cannot complain. God answered my prayers. Like, literally every prayer I've prayed, he so far has answered it. Like, perfectly. Everything's good. So, keep up the good work, Lord. What y'all know about these? Anybody had these? If y'all have, that? I don't even know. I some privilege I've seen it stuff. Let me know if they hit. I'm gonna let y'all know too. Anyways, um, uh, we just got the catheter put in, so that's uh, what you that, right? Yeah. No other update. <laughs> we call them the kids. All right, we call them the kids. Y'all wanna see? Can they see? Yeah, I don't know if they work. Oh, they're not work. Okay. So we'll show you the kids later once they work. What's up, boy? Hey, Daddy. Hey. You woke up, you woke up early, man. <laughs> you ready to see your sister? You ready to hold her? Look. You see my belly? She about to come out. You having fun at Mimi's house? Yeah. What are you doing? I just the the TV started coming off. The TV went off? It's just working, but, but I just don't see. I don't see that movie feed. I see feed on me. What? The TV went off. Oh, so y'all got to put the TV back on. When we get up, everybody sleep. He's up. <laughs> yeah, he watches TV in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we all was sleep. He just not telling me I was sleep. Oh. Yeah, make sure my baby got some TV. Whatever. I think he had plays with some early. I should go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, she usually don't even be a big bubble, but bubble people. But he watches TV. Yeah, like a 62-year-old. Well, I love you, Bubba. I love you, too. I love you, Bubba. Your daddy said he love you. I love you, too, daddy. All right, be good. All right, we'll call back. Uh, well, call me when my kid's up. All right. All right, bye. <laughs> I miss my kids. <laughs> About to cry. Don't cry. Girl. I keep it. Dead. I don't even know why. If no, it's kind of a protective measure. You, you're like your body's just like, oh, something's in there and it's foreign. Let me tense yeah, it. Yeah, it's like That's I don't know. I hate that. Okay, so like I said, this just plugs into your IV, mm -hmm. little bitty bit at a time. You're not even gonna see it dripping. When you look, you're gonna think it's not running, but it's running. It's just a little tiny bit. All I'm doing is just keeping your contractions strong and close. Yes. I like the way that they look right now, so we're just going to keep it going. Okay. Good. It's crazy because you know you have contractions, but you don't feel Yeah. Okay, so I'm so happy. It's the fact that everybody feels like I'm going to have her fast. And I hope I have her fast. I hope so. <laughs> I'm ready. Yes, we got a table too. in here. So yes, I'm like, I'm like, yes, I need to have her fast. Yes, now my leg actually feels heavy. Are you? <laughs> Are what? you zooming in on me? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, so which mm -hmm. side do you want to lay on? What are you? Okay, first off, are you feeling? You're not feeling contractions on any one side or the other. Mm -hmm. No pain. Okay. No, no. So since you're not feeling them there, what's your most comfortable side? How do you like to like rest and sleep at home? Um, on which way? You have a preference that way. Okay. Right, let's lay you down. But I think I'm so quick update. She's laying down taking a nap. It's about 9 50 ish. Um, she's watching a movie. I'll show you guys. Here we go. Say hey. So yeah, she's laying down taking a nap. Uh, she, like I said, she already had Pitocin. 
already had her, her water broke. So right now we're just waiting for her to dilate a little bit more. Ultimately, motherhood is personal. The baby had borrowed flesh from her body. Maternal is the same word we get material from. And so from the womb of the woman, the baby draws the material that it will step out in. And it was hers, wrapped up in her flesh. One, two, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Push a little. One, two, three. Oh, there go. Oh, my God. Well, 28. Don't <laughs> see here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thanks. Look at those. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Alright, Dad, you got your camera ready? Yes, ma'am. We're gonna do her way. Okay. Eight pounds, 2.6 ounces. Alrighty. What? That's a big yeah, one. Yeah, she is big. <laughs> She's been there so long. 37.05. Okay. 37.05. Uh-huh. The kicking in your body the moving in your flesh, the tearing up of your body, the sharing of your breath, the eating for two, the whole process of delivery, loaning your cells to the baby, delivering the baby, pushing the baby out. The baby who had felt your heartbeat from the inside, now hears it from the outside as he draws his food from the sustenance of your breasts. It is a bond that develops between the mother and the child when properly executed, I mean a real mother, that is inseparable. When I was a little girl, I used to sing a song by Mary J. Blige, and used to go,
Here's a quick update. It's currently 119. The baby, she just got done taking a bath, getting her weight. Um, she had eight before she did all that. My wife, she's in the bed currently trying to get some rest because she's been up all day. Um, she took some medicine about an hour ago, so we're done for the night with our baby checkups and she shouldn't have any visits throughout the night. Uh, she should have some coming in in the morning, probably around like six or seven. So right now she's just finna get her some rest. I'm gonna stay up, make sure the baby gets her uh, sleep, make sure she don't need anything during the night. Make sure that my wife wakes up and she needs some, I'm able to uh, take care of her cause I got me some rest earlier. So right now it's just downtime. Um, like I said, it's currently 120. My brothers, they're gonna come up here tomorrow. They're gonna um, see my wife for Mother's Day. They're gonna bring uh, the baby car seat. And we're gonna just go from there. We should be leaving tomorrow as well if everything gets um, good with the baby. So we're hoping that we should be leaving around probably like noon ish or so tomorrow. So, so we now get ready to leave. We just discharged not too long ago. I'm gonna go out here and grab the car seat for my brothers. Um, we finna go home. It's Mother's Day, so I'm gonna go home do something for my wife. My mom, she's gonna come over and we're gonna have a good time. Yo, it's a game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all ready to see our niece? So, my boy, it be loaded. We all parked. We parked down there. Nah, I'm finna uh, move my car over here. Here you go. Baby, wait, oh my God, baby. Hey, Dream. Big uncle, big as here. No, cow. Big car seat. Dream had to come through. Got you the big motherfucker. Oh, shit. <laughs> Who is that right? I don't know what they got going. Are they finna get out? I don't know what they got going. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Oh, Dream. May 13th, the day before Mother's Day. Today, Mother's Day. Let's get out. Dream says so she turned up. Put that right there on there. Bye -bye. Put, the, put that car seat right on top. They let us go up there. I bet. That's much more bad ass girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she got <laughs> 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 My nigga, daddy of fire. How you feel, oh, my boy? Hey, this is another day. <laughs> it's another day. I was already. That's pretty much the living. That's another day. Appreciate it, son. Oh. I got a recycle. Oh, no, you just get boxing me, dude. Oh, bro. Y'all ain't living delivery? Yeah. Y'all can't agree on the business? The orange. In the front. In the front. By the, by the little. 
Yeah. Remember, they start yeah. to get close. Yeah, you got to be all right back here. All right, thanks. You need this? One eternity later. What, what's supposed to uh, smoke? Me too. Me too. Me too. You have to open up the menu. You gotta figure out what's going on. Man. I know she like, what's that doing so wrong? Hey, you can't get the bass in the car. One eternity later. Bass stolen. This is supposed to pop out. Oh, I'm tripping. What is this? Yeah. Yeah, what is this? They say bass stolen. There we go. I knew that though. Trying to see if y'all knew that. What is this? That's the base. They're going far. Okay. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Dream to see car seat for right now, you know? Yeah, I like that boy over there got a yeah, bullet. Yeah, like he five in. Oh yeah. Yeah, starting five, man. Yeah, starting five. Starting five. Hey, what's going on with your boy? I don't know what's going on with him. Yeah, yeah, like he don't want to play in the NBA no more. This boy's something But five in, I probably had mine. Give me another a year, a year and a half, maybe. I don't know. We gonna see. I like you, man. You lie a lot. Already got it. She just so just baby. Y'all wanna talk about it? So pretty. Uh 30 seconds. Alright, start now. <laughs> They so ready. Watch Look, guys. Out, Everybody done washed their hands. Yeah, Let me see. Did you wash your hands? Oh, she's getting naked. Okay, so the baby is still in there. Yeah, I heard it. She want to um, open it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, look at her. It smells so good in here. I'm glad. It's so fun. She's pretty, ain't she? Don't don't touch too much on her head. Yeah, take her out. Look at look at Paisley. Paisley, you happy? Look at Kaylee. Uh oh, what's that baby doing, Kaylee? What's she doing? Crying. She crying? <laughs> you okay? Kaylee, scoot over, please. She crying. Kaylee, you gonna help her? Here, Kaylee. She wanna pick her up like she a dog. She trying to take her out. Huh? Yeah, she's, she's not crying. a dog. Hold on, watch out. She crying? She gonna help her? She's fat. Kaylee. 
Kaylee, Kaylee. Kaylee, get up past him from your mom. Here, look, Kaylee, here. Give it to her. No, no, let her do it. Give it to her, okay. Open wide. Open wide. Open wide. Open wide. Give it to your mamas. I want to do it. Watch out, hold on. Give her a kiss. I want to kiss her. She's so little. She's so little. You want to give her a kiss? Give her a kiss first. Wake up! 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 Kiss. There you go, Kaylee. Kiss, kiss. There you go. <laughs> Yay! She want to hold it, Trey. You got to sit down. I want to hold it. It's a hurt. It's a baby. It's not a kiss. He said, I want to hold it. Kaylee want to hold it, too, so like, sit yeah. Kaylee down. Okay, I don't know about that. What you don't think so? That bird. I, I, I don't know. Kaylee, you want to hold it? Yeah. 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 You like her? You like your little sissy? You like her? Give her a kiss. She's gonna grab. Give her a kiss to the mom. Give the baby a kiss. Give the baby. Oh, you ready to be a big sister? Hey, baby. Yes, a baby. It's a cheese. Look at this baby. Show the baby your teeth. I know. She said. Yeah. What's her name? Baby. Yeah, it's a baby. Say dream. Can you say dream? Say dream. Me, me, baby. Yeah, it's a baby. You like her? I love her. I love being a mom. I can't believe it, and I don't want to go back. I want to stay in this zone, That's good. and I am a really good mom. Yeah. Like I